Don't worry. Everything's fine now. Oh, <laughs> wow. That's model fudge and fantastic news. As if I haven't already told you that the last few times. Well, there's no need for my head to be checked, let alone a uh, consultation. I mean, we needed an excuse for your behavior anyway. Surely insanity counts. What are you even saying? All hope is not lost yet. It looks like Dreamflux Reef is the enemy's real target. Everything that the both of you saw and heard at the Slumber Nana Association is evidence enough. Thankfully, you managed to intervene in time and put a stop to their schemes for now. Even so, the current situation is still rather grim. Apologies, but I only bring bad news. And good news, too? I wish, but no. Nothing of the sort. Uh, oh well. At least you didn't say worse news. The conversion is still in progress. The number of monkeys in Dreamflux Reef is still increasing, and I'm certain they used to be residents of the place. I sense the same. There is still a discordant static on Dreamflux Reef. Call it bewitchment or persuasion. The fact remains that such dissonance has indeed wrenched open the emptiness in people's hearts. I went to a few trustworthy bloodhounds for help, asking them to eliminate any assistant nanas that they come across. Looks like that's not helping the current situation. Mr. Micah, you know Dreamflux Reef the best among us. Do you have any suggestions? We're in a race against time, so... I'll dispense with the formalities. In Dreamflux Reef, there are still assistant Annas working in secret, searching all over the place for residents who haven't been turned into monkeys, and pushing them into that abyss. If the both of you are willing to aid us, it'll buy us more time. As for Miss Robin, you may just be the key to resolving this crisis. But if we were to ask for your help, we have to be prepared for the worst-case scenario, where the boundary between Dreamflux Reef and the family will no longer exist. I... will need your promise regarding the future of this place. I... understand. In that case, please go ahead with your plans first, Mr. Boothell and Miss March 7th. Before you wrap up your business, we will have made our decision too. Montana! Wait up! Watch out! Dreams do come true! All you stand still! Let's duel! <laughs> May the foul stench dissipate quickly, be of your body and mind! Eternal. Let's improvise. Don't worry, this one's on me. Allow me to purge the root. There's the no room. reasoning with you, bunch. Those with the low gun. Those who did the brave. Time to cleanse the filth. Grace and elegance. Yeah. Dreams do come true. Waiting in line for a bullet. The mood is set. Let the show begin. Every petal all will be swept away by the wind. Bring it on. Time's up. There's no those with a loaded gun. Those ridiculous grave. Let's do it! May the foul stick. Yeah! There's yeah. Take huh. uh, March? Uh, good thing you haven't been converted. 
See? Those things are not... Being able to see an actor who isn't a monkey fills me with such joy. This scene would be overly monotonous otherwise. Though, I too find this way of making my entrance rather excessively deliberate. We're not blessed with the luxury of time. What's a little blatant engineering in the opening sequence? Won't you agree? Who are you? Robin's people? No. No, you're a memo keeper. Keep intuition. But that layer of my identity isn't important. I am only here because of my fastidiousness toward the theatrical arts. What in fork in hell are you trying to say? Yeah, I was planning to tell you to stay away from this place. But you're being so annoyingly pretentious that you're better off turning into a monkey. At least you'd be less noisy then. You may think that I popped up out of nowhere, and yes, you can attribute that to a <coughs> lack of foreshadowing. I wouldn't have approved such a sloppy sequence in usual cases. Yet, for the sake of this film, I am willing to forego some of my standards to offer some tiny clues to you and the other ranger. Oh, Rapper sent you. <laughs> no wonder you're talking in that same convoluted manner. At present, there is an obvious way to save Dream Flux Reef. As long as the family steps into the picture, resolving the mutation that's occurred here would be a piece of cake. However, this is not a solution that the masses may be willing to accept. You think too little of people here. They gave up on those sweet dreams out there just so they can be true to themselves. You reckon such people would grovel at the feet of the family over a mere crisis? Yes, Mr. Micah thinks the same. But that perseverance of theirs isn't going to save Dream Flux Reef. I don't wish for this film to develop into a tragedy either. If the residents of Dream Flux Reef hope to tide over the crisis without the family's help, they will have to sing their very own song of harmony this is why I'm here. I have prepared a big gift for all of you. The outline for the next act. You'll see once you open it. And why should I believe you? I am the director of this film as much as I am an actor in it. When it comes to the last scene that I will appear in, there's no reason for me not to seek Fiction. <laughs> I knew it. There's no way a little fudge head would come right out and say what he actually means. Let's just see what you're up to. This is... Darn right he is. Uh, that motherfucker does know what he's talking about. 
Well, nothing else can beat this if the people of Dream Flux Reef have to come together to sing their song of harmony. Oh, time to go back to that singing queen. <laughs> Poor canal. Oh, this place totally ain't shabby enough to ask the family for help. Try my best, Mr. Micah. All right there, hold your horses. What do y'all have so far? Oh, it's you, Mr. Boothill. How are things outside? The same old sorry side. Not that I miss it. <sighs> have we really come to this? What do you mean, partner? Am I gonna have to start learning how to greet the family now? On the contrary, that's something that will never happen in Dreamflux Reef. At the end of the day, I'm just Dreamflux Reef's night watch, not its leader. I'm loath to interfere with people's right to choose. Choose? Uh, don't tell me you believe they chose to become monkeys. That's exactly my point. These are people who seek their true selves. I don't believe they would seek happiness by erasing their individuality. But I won't stop them from heading towards destruction, as long as they made the decision with a clear head. <laughs> That's my boy. If there are people who aspire to become monkeys, I won't deny them of that dream. But I hope Miss Robin would at least give them that right to choose once again. There is, indeed. A way to resolve the impending crisis without drawing the family's eyes to Dreamflex Reef. We know the tuning of harmony can erase the static noise. If the people of Dreamflex Reef are willing to follow my lead in singing a charmonic tune together, we may be able to erase the heinous noises reverberating around Dreamflex Reef. But knowing how a number of residents here view the family, it won't be easy for the plan to work. More importantly, if the family's tunes become the only song left on Dreamflux Reef, we would have survived the crisis, but Penacone's only land of freedom would also cease to exist. Just have every sound and voice come together in a single song. Listen, I, I have a fudging brilliant idea. Come with me, singing queen. Whether it works or not, depends on how much of a deviant. You ready for it? Now, this is the only way to get everyone in Dreamflux Reef to sing together. <laughs> this... Need I say any more? Oh, well, don't tell me you've been so used to your classy posh instruments that this thing is beneath you. No, that's not it. I know a thing or two regarding everything related to tunes. But this really is absurd. <sighs> Perhaps an absurd crisis calls for an equally absurd solution. That's the way. Leave the rest to me. I'll make sure to get everyone we some people saved their world by giving a dance. Some people defeated their enemies by crying. It's finally our turn now. Got a crisis? Throw a party! Yeah! Howdy, partner. Oh, what's wrong, pals? Oh, that's one distressed look you have there. Haven't been swigging enough, eh? Shut up, cowboy. Enough snide remarks. Come over and help us out. Oh? Well, that's exactly what I'm here for. Here, head over to this place and just wait for it. <laughs> I called it, didn't I? 
Who needs all that brain when swinging around on the dance floor solves things just the same? A cowboy? Oh, right. The same guy as the other time. Could Miss Robin be? Come with me, everyone! I think he might just be making some sense. Monella, why are you... Never mind. What's one more loony to the count? Let's go see what's going on, then. Snap out of it, cowpokes. There's a big party going on over there, and it's lit as fudge. Why don't you go uh, check it out? Micah already told us about it. Chiming in on the family's harmonic tunes? Oh, you best get the hell out of my face. Sheesh, isn't that one of my lines? But sure, if you prefer it this way. I know we're being a little demanding here. Get your hind parts over to that party right now and save your home, or I'll make sure to dedicate an LG for every one of you. You! You... You, you, you never seen a thug before? I'm not Micah. Wanna try me and my gun? What's going on? Are fellow humans more dangerous than those monkeys now? Fine. We'll go to the party. Just keep that gun of yours away. My, my, my. Look who's here. Uh, uh, I've been looking for you all day. Hmm. Should I believe that or not? Oh, all right then. I'll just take half the credit for those assistant Annas we took out earlier. Yeah, that's also just half of the whole lot. Huh? Ah, oh, so that's why nothing's going back to normal. Come on, we need to hurry. No need for that. We got a new plan now. How did it go with her? Convinced? Uh, I'll help out wherever possible. Jeepers, how'd you get through to her? Master Assistant Nana the Pulp? March explained everything to me. I wasn't really influenced by the assistant Annas. It was something else. Uh, anyway, it's not your fault. Those bananas are incorrigible. Preaching about how having nothing is best. More like they wouldn't be able to control a single human if none of us thought that way. Say whatever they like. They're nothing but smashed fudges once I put my bullets into them. Everything ironed out between you two now. Follow me then. Oh, wow! Everyone's here! <laughs> what was it you said? Who in their right mind would sing in a choir in this era? Not when you tell them there's a party. That's when people come flocking. What? A party? You're back, Mr. Boothill. We wouldn't have this turnout if it wasn't for Mr. Micah. Most of them are unwilling to trust me, much less the power of Charmony. But they chose to put their faith in Mr. Micah. I think it's less about believing me than them not wanting to give up on this place. Everyone's got something they want to prove. It's the first time Dreamflex Reef has ever had a way to overcome difficulties on our own, without relying on the family. So, what exactly are you gonna do? You're likely to find it... a little... unbelievable. <laughs> I still can't wrap my head around how I actually agreed to this. I must be crazy. What's so scary about that? I have to do something crazy every once in a while. That keeps me from really going nuts. All right, let's get the party going. Once the hype is at its peak, 
I'm gonna treat everyone to a drink. <laughs> I'm starting to like you guys now. Well, thank you in advance, Mr. Buto. But I'd like to remind you on behalf of Jesse that your seven cups from before haven't been paid yet. But I'm willing to take care of that bill, of course. I've hosted several acting gigs in the past. But this is the most unusual of the lot. Will it really work? Oh, don't overthink it, singing queen. Let me tell you something funny. I'm sure you can tell I've been through some uh, modifications on my body. When I just started out as a cyborg, my memory module fizzled out every so often, and I didn't even mess with it. The doctor told me to note things down if they were ever important, and, and she'd look up some possible causes before coming to fix me up a few days later. But guess what? I might have fudged and noted things down for several days straight, and that's when it hit me. I was remembering too much crap. <laughs> That's why my memory module just kept shutting down on me. Is there a reason you're telling us this? <laughs> yeah, and it's simple. I'm telling you that it's not yourself that you have to trust, but them. Everyone here has a perfectly functional memory module. They didn't develop such robust brains to forget everything and become monkeys. So, you in? Yes. Let's get this party started. <laughs> what was it again? Uh, an absurd solution to an absurd crisis? <laughs> I, I won't call it that. It's only right for Dream Flux Reef's song to be untamed and free. Go get the party started, singing queen. <laughs> I should call you, uh, DJ Queen instead. Beautiful, excellent music can really bring a film to life. Holy forkeroni. Weren't you riding off your character? I am. That's why I am watching this scene as a director, instead of an actor. I can't wait to hear for myself how this song of harmony is going to turn out. Sometimes, I get hit by sudden hunches that a great film is in the making. More often than not, these tend to be just scenes from different groups of people that are then edited together. Most of the characters in this film aren't what you would call protagonists. You don't really get to see full character arcs on them, but they still have a light in their hearts that can save humanity's soul. What do these people really need when they have lost everything? Guidance of the wise or aid from the strong? I'd say neither. All they need is a camera to capture them. That's when others would be able to see the most wonderful show in the entire universe. <sighs> Don't make things sound so complicated, Director Pal. If you were to ask me... Fork it. That's exactly what life is. <laughs> it's the prelude. Can you hear it? Those lesser thirds so plaintive, sixth diminished, sigh on sigh. Told them something. Those suspensions, those solutions, must we die? Those commiserating sevenths, life might last. We can but try. So, Miss Robin, is there anything else I can do? I'm all right now. You don't have to accompany me any further. The butterflies that I felt from before are all gone now. Is that because you're starting to get into the mood for the party early? No, that's not it. I just realized something I've never noticed before. Oh? 
Everyone expected my life to change after going through something huge like that. But that's not the case. I still haven't found a better answer regarding birds and flight. Even when something comes to my mind, I still need a lot of time to deliberate on it and try various ways to prove it. I believe my brother must be doing the same right now. Are you going to change yourself from today? Not exactly. It's just, when I think about what's going to happen next, it dawns upon me that hymns tend to require a devoted heart and demand the choir to sing in unison. But on the dance floor, there's no need to conform or impose a certain standard for everyone to follow. Even if everyone is different, they will still appear the same. Perhaps Harmony was never about its audience, but about the light it provides. Much like how we see it now. There are more choices for the people than singing in unison. Even if they were to contribute their own differing sounds, these can be strung together. That's what it means to tune. I believe our Song of Harmony will be able to embrace even discordant sounds. I will bring forth Dream Fox Reef's very own sound. leading up to the climax are in place. Let us welcome, with bated breath, the beatific final act! <laughs> 